next we will move ahead with exploring how to connect to database using power bi so what is uh, database dataverse is a microsoft uh, cloud based uh, you know uh, secure data storage uh, thing and uh, this uh, microsoft database is uh, initially in the past they used to call is a common data source they used to call as a common data and it is a cloud based storage option for your organization's data and that can be connected to different business applications like uh, power apps power automate and so on so let's not worry about the power automate at this moment i'll show you uh, you know how to connect to power apps and how to use the database connector from your power bi desktop and to pull the data from your database to your power bi see so the uh, one of the key benefits of the you know the data uh, if you store it on cloud right so the it will be easier to manage when it comes to database if you store anything on uh, in the database uh, cloud right and it actually the database actually it contains the predefined tables that are based on typical data structures right so you can also upload your files there it will be secure and it can be accessed uh, you know people across the thing right downloading i have never worked with github only practical i want uh, not theory yeah yeah uh, the lovely i will show you later okay so now uh, we will take a look at this one we'll see how we can connect to database using power bi so not uh, this one the database okay and uh, what i am going to do is first of all i need to sign up with power apps we are using power apps um, make dot power apps dot com you just type make dot power apps dot com it will take you to that website now since i already signed up with my credentials right um, i have signed up uh, in this um, power app site okay in the sense i already signed up i have the username and password with that it automatically connects there when you click on the gear sign here look here on the top right corner you will find the gear sign if you click on it here this icon and you will find something like session details you just click on session details the next step is in, you will find something called instance url okay instance url you don't need all these things select only this one okay you don't have to select https uh, colon forward slash simply select this right click on it copy and uh, head back to your power bi desktop power bi desktop did i close it no okay it is there for example if i go to git data you'll find database here the alternately you can find it here also okay you just go here and uh, click on the database So now uh, I just got connected. Sign in as connect. Provide or invalid connect. I just give, you know click on connect one more time. Let's see what happens. You are already signed in. Okay, and connect. Okay, so hence it is not required. Look here, it's already signed in. And database. Okay, I think uh, I need to do it one more time. please wait okay so this is the one it's a highly secured one uh, it sent a message to my mobile phone one second let me check my mobile phone. so you need to install something called microsoft authenticator in your google using your play store 
I'll explain you, don't worry, okay, later. Because I don't want to mix so many things, okay, in one thing. Uh, let me just... Um, In my mobile, I'm opening the Authenticator app. So I'll have to click on, uh, I'll have to tap the Approve. One second, I'm just unlocking my screen. It says, oh my God, it takes longer time. Yeah, now it is open, but um, I need to approve it from my app, Microsoft Authenticator. So next, I just, yeah, it got approved. Now only it is connecting it. Connect, um, waiting for, okay, look here, it got connected to the database. Let us go to the website here close okay on the right side you can see the database on the power apps okay the when you expand when you click on this it will get expanded under database you can find the tables choices many things are there when you click on the tables these tables were already created by someone else and if you want to upload your data right so you can create or if you want to create a new table you just click on it Right, so you can create your own table here, new table on the right side. You need to specify table and everything. But again, you need to have some kind of license thing. You need to purchase some license only then you can upload the data and all. Okay, and get data and all is there. Right, so using get data also you can upload it. But um, I tried it, but it was asking for licensing things since I don't have licensing. But what we will do is we will simply reuse the tables that are already available the pre-existing tables. I just clicked on the tables. I could see all, you know, many tables or, uh, you know, these are the tables that are available already. So I want to see the account table in detail. I'll just click on the account table. So it shows all the columns that are part of the account table. So th these many number of columns are there in the account table. And next one is when you click on the relationship, you will find, you know, when it got created and the charts, keys and data. If you want to see the data that belongs to account table, you can see it. So the account name, these are the account name and the main phone address, city, all these things are av available. So now what I do is the same thing is available here also. If when you click on, when you expand this one, it will show you all the pre-existing tables that are available in my database so this is what when I click on this one it will show all the tables right the same thing once it connects to the database cloud it will show all the things here it is simply um, why it is asking the credentials I think I You know, I should not try a different user. It will cause some problem. Anyhow, let me do it one more time. It's still loading it is connecting it okay it will take some time look here the account table and other tables whatever we have seen it on database it is visible now I just 
import the account table which is already available on the database into my local Power BI desktop. I just selected this table. In the preview data window, it will show the data that are available as part of the account table. So we can see only the two records are there, but so many columns are there. I just click on load. It is loading the data. So there are two options. It is, you know, it is available to, uh, you know, to load the data into Power BI desktop. One is import, other one is direct query. Let us not, uh, you know, uh, worry about these things. Let us go by the default import mode. I will explain you little later about the these two types of, uh, or, uh, you know, uh, these two types. In addition to that, there are another connectivity type is there, live connection. We will explain it little later, okay. At this moment, I simply click on OK to import the data into my Power BI desktop from Dataverse. Just to import two re records from the cloud, it takes this much of time. If you have huge volume of the data, it is not worthwhile downloading the huge volume of data into your Power BI desktop locally. Ten rows. Oh, it shows ten rows. Ten rows loaded. And if you see on the right side, here the account table from the dataverse got imported successfully here. So when you expand this, you will find all the columns that are part of this one. What I am going to do is I am going to use a visual called pie chart. I just clicked on it. The moment when I clicked on the pie chart just beneath this visualization pane it got you know a drag it got dragged here now what I do is I just select I know few columns in this table already so we have something called name I just simply drag and drop it here and then I have something called number of staffs number of employees I just put it here look here since the data I imported locally into my Power BI desktop, it is faster, performance is a bit faster. Okay, so this is basically to understand how to connect to cloud and uh, to import the data from the cloud. We have some other option. Uh, you, I, I, I believe most of you noticed the import also and uh, direct mode also, right? While extracting the data while well, before loading the data it was asking it was showing two options one is the import the other one is direct the import is the default one when i clicked on uh, you know okay the entire 10 rows or whatever right so it got imported locally into my power bi desktop we have another option called direct mode so in that case we don't have to import the entire data locally so instead when you create the visual something like this it will go and query directly your cloud in that case you don't have to import the entire data locally if you import the entire data and then if you, you know, to uh, you know bring in the values to your refreshing the data here and all it will take right a visual display and all takes some time so instead directly you go there and take the data and then uh, you know do the display here visual display you do it here that is a direct mode anyhow we'll, we'll take a deep dive to understand the different types of storage uh, little later so that time you will be able to understand very clearly all these things at this moment you just understand how to import from them from the database microsoft database and here you can all you need to just go to you know power apps site go to google and type power apps Okay, you just powerapps.microsoft, you just click on it. When you click on it, it will take you to that website wherein you need to sign in. Try free, click on try free. Okay, and then you specify your username and password. So once that has been created, right? So you can, you know, sign in with that newly created credentials. 
and you know test it whatever i taught you here right so you plan it you you play around with it okay